Hey, Frank, I'm Aaron, privacy expert and blackmail negotiator. I'm gonna to talk to you about the big question, which I've spoken about in the past of, do blackmailers expose? And the answer to that is some do, some don't. In most cases of blackmail, they don't expose, but that doesn't mean you can ignore them and hope that they go away because it doesn't work that way. I mean, when you're faced with a blackmail and you're faced with blackmail and threats of exposure, I mean, it's a fight you have to fight. You can't just let it go. You know, so there, there are groups out there that operate daily and getting victims. And, you know, to them, this is transactional. It's about money. It's about getting paid. It's not about destroying people's lives, okay? The problem is you can't determine immediately which blackmail you're dealing with, whether you're dealing with a blackmailer who will expose you or one who's just in the ride for some money. And, you know, some blackmailers recognize that people can only pay X amount of dollars. But where the problem lies is if a blackmailer recognizes that you live in a $3 million house or, you know, sometimes they convince victims to take pictures of their crypto wallets or bank statements and it shows a tremendous amount of money in that. And that's when they decide they're going to exhaust your, your funds and they just want every penny possible they see you as the lottery. So it is a tough fight. But then there are blackmailers out there who are just like degenerates and they get off on destroying people. Now, those are, you know, the lesser amount of, of blackmailers online. But if you connect one of these blackmailers, it's, it, it's just about destruction. There's no fighting this, okay? Because they will expose you to every Facebook friend you have, Instagram follow you have, and you know, your LinkedIn, your employment, your spouse, your cousin, everybody. It is not a pretty picture. So when you're facing a blackmailer, okay, regardless of whether they'll expose or not expose, you have to fight them and combat the scam as if they are going to expose you. Because if you're passive and you just hope they're gonna go away and wish they're gonna go away and pray they're gonna go away, the only thing that's gonna happen is they're going to expose you. So the first thing I do with a client is when I take over a blackmail and I, I, I pose as the, the, the victim, I determine, you know, who am I dealing with? What type of blackmailer? Are they looking for money and they'll just disappear? Or is this going to be a tough fight about protecting someone's identity and preventing the exposure? So, you know, I'm, I'm capable of doing that. The other thing is I'm capable of dealing with the stress because most victims cannot face the fact that every text they get, it's a picture of their compromising, their compromising photos with their family's Facebook, you know, pages surrounded with it. It's a difficult thing to deal with. Okay. So you have to be strong and you, you, you have to just forget about, you know, the, what could occur and focus on what you have to do. The first step in all blackmail is always to stall the first payment. That's the key. I have no money. I need two days, 24 hours, 48 hours to get money, and I will pay you then. You have to stand your ground because you need that 28, 24, 48 hours to figure out a plan and then decide what a plan is. Now, blackmail help is protecting your identity, preventing exposure, and getting rid of the blackmailer and ensuring that they don't return. Blackmail help is not this idea that somebody's going to go find them and actually, you know, threaten them or arrest them because no, nobody's doing that in Africa or the Philippines or Morocco. I mean, those law enforcement agencies don't care about you and they're not going to create a special case for you. And blackmailers are smart. They know how to insulate themselves where, you know, it's difficult to trace them. I'm not saying that they can't be traced, but even if you trace them, what do you do? I mean, do you, you call the local police? They're gonna laugh at you. So the objective of all blackmail is to get out as quickly and quietly as possible. So if you have any questions, reach out to me. My name is Frank M. Ahern, and I can help you. Other than that, be safe.